Welcome to Paleo News, a weekly wrap of fossil stories. Arachnophobes, beware! This next story features your worst nightmares. A stunning find in the 100 million year old amber deposits of Myanmar are these infamous spider scorpions. Named Chimera arachne in 2018, these little horrors have the body of a spider and the tail of a scorpion. They have fangs, eight legs, a segmented body and a whip-like tail, and well-defined spinnerets resembling those of modern spiders. They belong to a group of tailed spiders that presumably originated in the Paleozoic and survived into the Cretaceous of Southeast Asia. News this week of a new dinosaur from early Cretaceous deposits in Victoria, Australia. This is an alaphrosaurine theropod known only from a single vertebra from the neck. Alaphrosaurines are an enigmatic group known from the late Jurassic of Africa and Asia and the late Cretaceous of Argentina. The new Australian alaphrosaurine would have lived around 76 degrees south, well within the Antarctic Circle, indicating it could tolerate a near polar environment. This find was published in Gondwana Research. The mysterious blobs in rocks from Maison Creek in the US state of Illinois have long created confusion among paleontologists, but this week came news that has helped identify the 308 million year old Tully monsters. In the past, they were variously described as either vertebrates or invertebrates, possibly shellless snails, some kind of worm, a jawless fish, or even an arthropod. A 2016 paper published in Nature identified them as vertebrates related to lampreys. This week came confirmation of that identification. Researchers from the University of Wisconsin, milwaukee looked into the chemical composition of the fossils and confirmed their vertebrate origins. Meanwhile, over at the University of Wisconsin, Oshkosh, an ongoing study into Cretaceous dinosaur teeth suggested that Velociraptor and its cousins did not hunt in packs as depicted in Jurassic Park. The suggestion that raptor dinosaurs such as Velociraptor and Deinonychus did hunt in packs was put forward by the famed Yale University paleontologist John Ostrom, but the evidence to support that idea has always been relatively weak. The new study looked at teeth of young and old Deinonychus and showed that they had different diets. This is more similar to Komodo dragons or crocodiles, where the young live in separate environments to avoid being eaten by older members of their own species. With such behaviour within a species, it is unlikely that individuals would cooperate to hunt in packs. More details and links for these and other fossil stories can be found on our social media feeds, so follow us and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further editions.